hey guys welcome back to another video now in this video i'll be showing you how to set the password on your wireless router or modem now i've done this video before but persons have shared that they were unable to follow certain parts and they experienced issues um, while doing the process now in order to allow persons a better understanding of it i'm doing a second video to kind of spend more time going through the process and just make it more um, clearer to understand. So first thing you'd want to do is make sure that you're connected to a wireless um, signal. So I'm connected to Fast Connect. I also have a connection called TestFar that I can interchange between. Both of them are coming from the same wireless modem, which is an Aries. However, both of them share different um, frequencies. One of them is, which is what I'm connected to, the fast connect is a five gigahertz connection, while the test bar is a 2.4 gigahertz connection. The difference between those is that with the five gigahertz, it is um, faster. However, it doesn't spread in a um, far distance. However, for the test bar, it can it has a wider range or wider distance however it is not as fast as the five gigahertz now for the purpose of being in my um, home i work with the um, fast connect which is a five gigahertz however once i'm outside of my home and i'm at the gate or I'm at the back of the house then i work with the test bar because it will um based on the use case it works best now i'd want you to pull up your command prompt so you'd want to open your little um, search icon and type in cmd on cmd comes up i'd want you to type ip config now ip config will show you your wireless connection in addition to your LAN connection. Um, I will want to look for the default gateway. Now my default gateway is 192.168.0.1. And this is because I'm using a, a Aries um, modem. However, if you are using a Nex, you know, a Linksys, it might vary. And just to illustrate that, here is a list of login IP address or default gateways that you can basically use once um, you're using these devices in order to get access. However, for me, it is 192.168.0.1. And I'm going to just type it in here that you can see. So 192.168.0.1. I will come up. All right, so once that's up, you will be, you'll have to log in with the default username and password. Now for the Aries, it is admin and password. So admin and the password is password. So you can press apply and it should bring you in, close. You can, however, change that, but for ease of use, you leave it as it is. All right, so once in, you would want to navigate to wireless. And once in wireless, you'd want to locate your security settings. So it might vary in terms of how it appears. However, they are basically the same or very similar um, in approach and how you find certain things. So once in wireless settings, you'd want to look for your security settings, and then you'd want to look for the appropriate wireless signal. Now, for me, it gives me in tabs, my option in tabs. For you, it might give you in columns. So you, just, you can browse around, and eventually you should find um, the wireless frequency that you want to change the password for, or set the password for. Now I want the 2.4. All right. Now with the 2.4, you see where it's called test far. 
it's broadcasting the SSID, so that's the name. Um, I'm set it for um, power level high, but these aren't important. Well, at least this right here isn't important for you at the moment. What is important is the password, because that's the aim of this video. So if you're changing the password from none here to password. Um, you also have the security mode. Now, I would recommend you leave this as it is. So if it is a case where it is set to WPA or WPA tool to PSK or K um, T K I um, P or AES, these are all encryptions. So most compatible tends to be the best option for me. Um, however, you can go with recommended. However, if you have anything that is that connects to it using TKIP or AES encryption, it will not connect. So best to collect, select all options, all variables. That way, whatever the connection encryption is, you know, you'll have it um, on your device. So I set for password and then I just hit apply. That's all you need to do. And then the password would have been changed. Because I'm currently connected to the fast connect, I shouldn't necessarily drop her because this um, device is going to reload. You know, it might drop me, which it did, <laughs> which it did. Um, so I'm just going to wait until it's back up. So give it a couple um, seconds and then you just click on the connection icon for your Wi-Fi. And it automatically connected me back to Fast Connect because that is what you know um, I'm able to connect to without um, being prompted for password. However, I want to connect to TestFar. So... Uh, try and connect to test far. If you realize that it is um, taking a while to connect or prompt you for password, you can always cancel, right? Oh, okay. So yeah, you can always cancel and then right click on it and forget. Once you're, you have forgotten the previous password, it should just um, reload and you can connect again and then you can enter in the password that you said. And the password that I said was password. So P A, -A S S W O R D. All right, so now I'm connected to test far. And that's basically it for how you can um, change or set a password for your wireless router or modem. And just to show that I can still connect to the um, wireless modem because you would have seen me connect to it via the fast connect. However, now I'm connected via test far. So you can see that for the 2.4 gigahertz and i'm sorry about the earlier selection i realized i selected a lot of stuff while trying to highlight something but yeah you will see that it's now password while the wireless 5 5 gigahertz is still none here so i hope um this video was helpful again if you have any issues following through please leave a comment i'll also leave a link here so you can you know this can be of use to you but as i said before you can leave a comment and i'll try my best to assist